them to be considered. Amen. I think some of our mistakes, you know, a lot of time we go hunka hubba hookah hoopa and we don't really take time. You know, there was a reason God told us about check out some of that character, uh, certain elements of character, certain areas of character. Just check it out first before because God knows if you let that kind of character get over somebody, that they are going to mess them up. How, what did you expect? That's the character. That's their life. That's the way they think. That's the way they talk. That's the way they make decisions. All their behavior patterns are surrounded. And so you just actually put somebody in the lion's den with somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah, see, character. I, I know when I came home, I was saved and had all that good scripture training with the Southern Baptist. And I remember I ran into the house. You know, I, I'm saved, but my character really needs to develop. You know, my head, and uh, I got all this information while I ran into the house. And I said, Mama, Mama, when are we going to church? When are we going to church? Why are you so interested in curious? I said, because I need to straighten you all out out there. I said, y'all don't know nothing. <laughs> and she looked at me with that stern look my mother could give you. And she says, uh, boy, you just got in here. You try to straighten us out, and we're going to show you something. <laughs> Hallelujah. It takes character. Amen. There's no shortcut to it. There's no shortcut to it. There's no shortcut to it. Glory to God. There's no shortcut to it. There's no shortcut to it. It's priceless. Hallelujah. It's priceless. Hallelujah. It's something that uh, you don't have to draw up and then, you know, put it on, take it off. No. It's something that's worked into the fiber of your being. To go to bed with you, to be in London with you, to be in Africa with you, to be in Rome with you. Hallelujah. You understand that? Your, your physical features change as you grow chronologically, physically. Amen? But also spiritually. What's happening physically is a, is a shadow or symbol of what should be going on spiritually. As we grow with God, that what should be taken is that more of the character of Jesus should be taking place. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, God. I would not have the patience of anything. Without God helping me in character. Because my makeup is, the root of my makeup is, if I tell you how to do something and you mess it up, hard dealing. But character development helped me understand Jesus paid a tremendous price and you better put the value on people the way he did. That's why I promised God I would never try to trick people and deceive them with talk and insight. Amen? Just going to be honest with you. Praise God. What is is what is. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if we all work on our character, let God work on our character, guess what? You're talking about turning something upside down? We would turn it upside down because it's character. You understand It's character. It's not how much we know. It's the development. Thank you, Lord. It's hallelujah. It's development. It's character development that will not allow me to have odds with you and just walk on like it doesn't make me any difference. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't you stand? Bless the name of the Lord. Praise you. Hallelujah. 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 Bless your name. And everybody just need to take out time. You need to go. Since Jesus gave a full access to him, a lot of times we just need to go back to him and say, Lord, Lord, I'm just blowing it in. I'm just blowing it here. God, help me get a hold of me because I know what you start developing in me. Hallelujah.
You've heard the term warped character? Huh? Some warped character, bent character. I mean, something gets in and perverts it. Hallelujah. In our lesson, in our Matthew lesson coming up this Wednesday night, there's a section in Matthew 23 to 23rd chapter where Jesus literally tells the Pharisees how they have warped the character of other folks. See, you can be responsible for messing up somebody else's character because you can give them the wrong stuff, show them the wrong example, and they start taking it in. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we honor you today and we thank you today. Father, this is a lifelong journey, this character development. There are no overnight instantaneous development. Father, we kilo glory. Mm, thank you. Lord, it is a lifetime. But I thank you that you have the right plan. You have the right person. And God, you committed to promote it. Father, I know that being made like Jesus is not always the easiest thing, but it's going to be the most effective thing. And it's what pleases your heart. Because in him we find true character and identity. We bless you now and we thank you now. Can you make this confession with me? Say, dear God, here I am. I give myself to you. I belong to you. I want to be like Jesus. Thank you for having a plan for me. Work in me, Lord. Work through me, Lord. Make me like Jesus. Amen. And amen.